And that's something that we couldn't have handpicked if we wanted to, to have the great neighbors that we do, the incredible people that live around us. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. You live in Utah. Happy Pioneer Day. We love the 4th and the 24th of July because we get to celebrate red, white, and blue all month long. It's so fun. Today we are having a massive party in the backyard. We love to do these. We do them often in the summer. But today we are expecting around 40 to 50 people. We're going to be barbecuing some burgers, hot dogs. Everyone that's coming is bringing a side or a dessert to share. Thankfully, the weight is off my plate providing the whole meal. Much as I love it, it is an added stress. I am making, I have to call them my famous beans. They're not my beans at all. A really great recipe by one of our friends, Scarlett. We have some fun food. I've prepped the backyard yesterday. That's what we did for a lot of our day. Now it's basically go time. We just have to set up all the things downstairs, the tables, some of the decorations, put all the tablecloths on, open up the pool, the last and final clean before people come. We live for this kind of stuff. This is our favorite to host people, which is why we built this house, is to have a place to gather, to have a place to invite our friends and family over. Well, today we are definitely doing that and it's going to be a fun one. And afterward, I think we're going to take a little nappy. We have had so many parties going on and like I said it is our favorite but I think I'm getting tired. I normally run on Wednesdays and today I said we're sleeping in. I did and it felt amazing. I needed it. Ready to party it up. Ready to have some fun. Have all the neighborhood over. Huge massive thank you to all the love you have shown crew this week for his birthday. If you haven't seen his actual birthday video or the birthday video yesterday where he was able to go ride the Talaria. The thing that he is saving up all of his money for. You guys can go watch those videos. He's had so much fun and I think felt so loved this week to all of you that have added to that. Thank you so much. Thank you for loving our family. Thank you for being here. We love you so much. Let's go have a party. Set up well underway here. We're getting all the goodies out. We got tables coming out for some additional seating. We're gonna be barbecuing a bunch of hamburgers, hot dogs. Classic delayed 4th of July, AKA 24th of July Pioneer Day here in Utah. This was a major hit at the kids' last day of school party and we haven't actually put it back out since then. So we're thinking volleyball would be a really fun thing. There's a lot of people who love volleyball here in this neighborhood. So we're gonna get the volleyball net up. Kids are getting that set up. Trampoline is going. We're gonna have the one person at a time rule just because, you know, Micah kind of set that precedent. We don't want to have any broken legs today. Basketball court is looking good. Crew helped me clean that off. The pool is looking crisp and clear. It's actually cooled off just a little bit. It's been in like in the 90s. The water temperature has been. I opened the cover a little bit early today to cool that off so that it can be refreshing as you get in. Like I said, we've got some additional tables being set up. We've got some additional food tables. We've never done the three food tables set up before. Mom has put a third table this way. We normally do the two you see here, but because we do think we're gonna have additional food needs, we've made a third table here, which kind of goes perfectly just along L shape here. Lock this door so that it doesn't open. And then we got a nice in and out to the kitchen for all the goodies. But guys, prep well underway. About 40 minutes to go time here. I think that things are shaping up pretty nicely. I think we may have successfully got everything prepped, set up. Right, I love the blue glasses. So bright. I had He's fourth to, and 24th. But, I mean, but it's such a good vibe. Like, it's the perfect blue. Love taking pictures out there by the flag. The pool's open. We've got a couple kids showing up already. Yep. Kickoff time is actually right about now. So I'm going to fire up the grill, get these burgers and dogs going. Mom got Nathan's famous hot dogs. Because yep. if you're going to have hot dogs, that's the way to do it. Also, guys, this is some late breaking news. It actually happened in the middle of the night. But we're celebrating Utah today, Pioneer Day, 24th of July. Yep. It's the uh, Utah Heritage Day. 24th on 2024. On that day, they found out that they're going to be getting the Olympics in 2034. So today, okay. Pioneer Day as we celebrate Utah with some beans and sausage. We're also going to be getting the Olympics in 10 years. We were just standing here talking about how Rye Guy's going to be 26, potentially married. Mom's going to be 48, definitely a grandma. 10 years into the future, we're going to be having the Olympics here for the second time. Wow. Flamingo coming down. Rex, that was pretty cool.
party is done and it was off the hook. I would say it was like one of the greatest parties we've ever had or hosted. It was, it was like, so cool. we didn't know what to expect because we just invited the entire neighborhood. Whoever can come, if you don't have any plans, we'd love to have you over. And so many people came yeah. and they brought delicious food and their oh kids gosh. had so much fun and everyone just sat and talked and we laughed and we played and we integrated with each other and then the kids were playing for so long that nobody could get them out of the pool and we just Which said let them play. Want. Let them play as long as they want to until they're completely worn down. Here it is guys, almost dinner time. We're just cleaning up and we could not be more grateful for such an incredible neighborhood, incredible yes. neighbors to be able to have a party here at our backyard. Kind of a dream come true for us. It's absolutely a dream come true. Our kids sometimes hesitate to go out with other friends. They love it whenever friends come here but it's kind of scary to go out. One thing I noticed today is that they were playing with kids that they haven't like really played with before and then as they've left they said gosh this person was so fun and, I and love it that makes everyone's it easier to hang in out in walking distance so it's like you want to hang out cool the guy lives right there just walk over to his house or he it's... can come over here i love too we at one point stood back and we looked and there was like an entire wall of people up on top of the jumping ledges a whole line of the water slide and i was like look at all of these kids this is like we threw like a massive party for all of our kids friends and it's just our neighbors it's our neighborhood and that's something that we couldn't have handpicked if we wanted to to have the great neighbors that we do the incredible people that live around us and it was really fun to get together today on utah's special day as they announced the 2034 yeah. Olympic bid it's and celebrate Pioneer Day, Utah's whatever it is. Right we now. were just looking for an excuse to throw a pool party, put on some red, white, and blue, and eat some delicious food poolside, and it was a blast. I crushed it. We're just reflecting that that might be the last, well, we thought it'd be the last pool party. We're having a very minor one tomorrow, just kind of a girl's day. Yeah, just girl's pool day. Pool side, we little to have Ryler's 16th take out lunch. Ryler's 16th birthday, maybe like an end of summer bash. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of winding down some of the major summer pool parties as well as the birthday parties because mom doesn't typically do pool party for your birthday. No, I'm just going to do something super chill. It was really awesome today. We had a lot of fun, really tired, and I think that's the sign of a really good day. I hope everyone's kids went home just exhausted. I hope everyone went home just fulfilled. It was one of those parties that I feel like you feel it in a good way. Like you just oh. feel the exhaustion of a great time. It was really fun to get to talk to all the neighbors. The kids kind of hung out together so the adults could kind of talk a little bit. Yeah, was that really was really fun. cool. So it was a really good day. Tomorrow's another crazy day and we've got a million things going on still. So come back. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, everybody. Got a flamingo coming down.